speaking of heart health, this morning we're helping you recognize any red flags before a health emergency. Cardiac specialist Dr. Alan Gass and Lori Jennings, deputy editor of Good Housekeeping, join us now. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having us. Good morning, Lexis. Heart failure is a leading cause of hospitalization among Americans that are 65 and older. Dr. Gass, what are the symptoms that can be early warning signs? So I'm here on behalf of Novartis, along with Good Housekeeping, just to educate the people about heart failure, a progressive condition where the heart could no longer pump enough blood around the body. The signs of heart failure and the symptoms are shortness of breath, swelling the ankles, palpitations, or just fatigue, you can't do the things that you used to be able to do, or you're avoiding certain activities, even as subtle as going to the end of the driveway to pick up your newspaper. Good Housekeeping features some lifestyle tips, Lori, that people can use to manage their heart failure. What are they? Absolutely, at Good Housekeeping, we're always sharing tons of great heart healthy tips, and one of the easiest and uh, changes that you can make is to your diet and by focusing on a low salt or low sodium diet you can definitely improve your your outcomes here so that means focusing on eating single ingredient foods like fresh fruits and vegetables those dark leafy greens I often say eat the rainbow get as many colors in there as you can because that those are naturally low in salt but also high in other nutrients Dr. Gass if you have heart failure can you reverse it or is it something that if you have it, you have to figure out a way to live with it and manage it? Well, as, as Lori mentioned, there are lifestyle modifications, but if you have heart failure, treatment options have expanded in recent years, including a breakthrough medication in Tresto, the first FDA approved medication of its class. A recent heart failure trial showed that with Entresto, it helped patients stay out of the hospital and alive longer. Now, Entresto may not be for everybody, Alexis. If you're pregnant or have a history of angioedema, you shouldn't take Entresto. But Entresto, again, has been shown to keep people out of the hospital and alive longer. Dr. Gass and Lori, thank you so much. Thanks for having us. Thanks, Alexis. Still ahead.